Okay, fellas, I just would like to um, show you um, one way of learning, memorizing um, scripture. So what I would do is have a pen and pad ready and then I sort of go in sections with each verse and maybe do three of them or four depending how much there is there um, so what I would do is just read um, the, that in everything ye are enriched by him and then I would repeat that a few times and taking note of each word <laughs> trying to make sure that I know every word that's in there otherwise when I'm writing it down or something I might accidentally change the word into some other word slightly different like um, with I and G on the end or some other prefix something so I'd, um, as I read it maybe the second time round I'd just run my eye along each word as I'm saying it because I it's easy to forget one or one of those little words in the sentence that in everything ye are enriched by him, that in everything ye are enriched by him. And I also take notice of commas and try and remember what type of punctuation was there. That in everything ye are enriched by him. And sometimes with words that are probably more difficult to spell, you might like to sort of pronounce them in a sort of different way but um, that would sort of help you know how it's spelled like knowledge you might say that in and in all knowledge you sort of might say that sort of way to yourself uh, so that when you come to writing it down on the pad, you might have a bit of an idea of what letters are coming in. So, yeah, in that in everything ye are enriched by him, that in everything ye are enriched by him, and then, okay, well, I've fairly got an idea of what that is. We'll go on to the next little bit, to this next um punctuation in all utterance in all utterance and so i'd be reading that and looking at each word for a couple of times and then i'd try saying it without looking at the book so you'd take your focus away and then you'd that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance. That in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance. And then I'd go back and say it again, looking at those words again, just to make sure that when you were doing it without looking at it, you didn't change anything. That in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance, that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance. And then you might like to add in the next little bit, the last bit, and taking notice that it's a semicolon there. And in all knowledge, and in all knowledge, and in all knowledge, looking away, and in all knowledge, uh, that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge and then you might go over to here now let's see if i can remember some of this 
Um, that. Uh, in every. How you spell every every thing? <laughs> Noticing that um, this word was separated. Everything, not everything, but everything. That in everything ye are enriched. By him. Now I seem to remember that there was a little comma here. <laughs> um, and rich by him. Now what was the rest? In all utterance. In all utterance. I'm sort of pronouncing it to myself. Utter atons. E <laughs> to try and get all the correct letters, and then there was another little comma, and in all canal <laughs> to get the pronoun. Now there was a semicolon here. Um, and then I'd uh, uh, read that back here to see if I got it right. That in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge. And then, um, so I'd probably start reading that again over and over, maybe looking at it a few times as I read it a few times and then maybe say it looking somewhere else and then I might start doing the same on this next one and then I'd probably try to read over those two at the end of doing that one and a few times and try and not forget the previous one and and then probably with these ones I'd maybe just do three and um, and then when you've got those three done and you've read over them all together one after another looking at it and try and memorize it I mean try and and then maybe without looking at it. Um, another thing that would help probably is to remember maybe try and write down some thoughts from those uh, verses like um, enriched by him. Well, I was thinking that word enriched um, would probably sort of go with the next one, the next verse, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, um, um, that sort of goes with the word enriched, because um, the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, um, that's an enriching thing um, because um, these other words um, utterance um, as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you um, you were uttering an in utterance of Christ and in his things, the things of Christ, and in knowledge of Christ. So, yeah, those words sort of go with the next one. So you could probably write down something that you got from those verses. Uh, that in 
let you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, um, uh, because the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you with utterance and knowledge, you are coming behind in no gift, um, and you're, you also have the hope of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so you could possibly write down some thoughts. Uh, you'd obviously write, try and remember the verse number, that was number f five of this is by the way second oh first corinthians um chapter one and that is verse five uh, try and remember the verse numbers and i'd probably once i mem um had written down that and read it again and and um, I'd probably write that one down again when you were confident in that one and then start memorising the next verse and then write it down when you're confident and then read it again, read it again, probably write it down again and then it's basically writing them each verse down twice. Uh, and then... Basically, what I do is later on in the day, I would um, come back and probably, if you're fairly confident, you could perhaps say the verse without looking at it and then start writing it down, or you could the later when you came back later in the day you could uh, read over it again and then write it down um, I think it's pretty important maybe when you're beginning to just focus on three verses or four verses per day and use the rest of the day when you have time to come back to just focus on those same three verses and you could come back a few times per day whenever you have time and just I'd recommend not doing any more extra verses that day just so you don't confuse yourself and um that would should be very good years ago i learned memorized the full first chapter of the bible 31 verses and i was not doing it this way i was trying to get it all um done in one hit sort of thing and i did um succeed though i was I think I needed a fair bit of prompting with some of the verses, but I think I basically memorised it, but I don't think I have got that in my memory today. <laughs> so, uh, the verses will probably come back to you if, um, yeah, they probably come back to you. Um, on odd occasions, that's the good thing about memory, memorising verses, is that um, even if you do forget them um, and are not able to quote them, um, the Spirit of the Lord um, um, in um, maybe troublesome times or different times sometimes those verses one or two of them or a whole lot of them will just come back to you when you really need them even though you thought oh boy i didn't realize that it had that memorized still <laughs> it just came back to me
<laughs> so thanks for listening uh, to this video.